And now for a bright spot in the local real estate scene, we go to Redmond. Associate producer Leslie McClurg brings us the story of one new green development that weathered the recession with ease. When the subprime mortgage meltdown began, most economists predicted a 12 to 18 month downturn. Here we are coming up on three years and Seattle's real estate market is still shaky. But there may be a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, I think we're coming out of it in that we had the highest pending sales in January that we've had for a long time. The inventories are lower now than they've been in many, many months. So with lower inventory and more pending sales, we can see the recoveries happening. The latest report from the Northwest Multiple Listing Service shows strong gains in home sales in the last two months. Analysts credit this rise to increasing consumer confidence and home buyer tax credits. However, prices still remain flat. Right now, nothing's increasing. <laughs> Everything's dropping, um, or there are a few areas that might be reaching somewhat of a stable market, and that's more in Seattle. We're back to 2004, 2005 prices, making it a great time to buy. We've got incredibly low interest rates. We have a wonderful selection of property, and we have most of them that have come down in price and adjusted to what the market has done. One exception to the sluggish market is this project in downtown Redmond. It really is a phenomenal story because we were a very hot market right here on this little street in a very cool real estate market. While most new construction sites were shutting their doors, these 17 homes couldn't be built fast enough. So what was the secret at the reflection of Redmond? So we did a very extensive comparative market study and then we just beat all the rest of them. According to Patty, they put power in the hands of the buyer. Francisco Lacorta recently bought this unit and says the builder's flexibility played a key role in their decision. We came to him with a lot of ideas for how we wanted the house to be. We modified pretty much every single room in the house. We've gone the extra measure to revise walls and change floor plans to accommodate each homeowner and allow them to personalize their home. Lacorta also says the built green features were important. Everybody wants to be green. Everybody wants to do something good for the environment. But we're actually putting our money where our mouth is. But the real clincher was the location. Literally everything that you could need um, is within a few blocks away. You really, really don't need a car here. Many economists say smaller, more efficient homes that are centrally located will be a continuing trend in the future. So we have a walkability score of 95, which is higher than Belltown. You can walk to schools, you can walk to the library, you can walk to the grocery store, movie theater, shopping. And this builder isn't stopping here. We're in good shape in that we have another project we're going to break, break ground on in two weeks. That's a good sign for both the economy and putting people back to work. So I believe in this area, hopefully within this next year, we'll see things improving and hopefully by the beginning of 2011 we'll see a real turn.